I'll say about the technology industry is it's really just a problem solving industry, right? We're aware of what the latest technology is and how we might be able to apply it to certain problems. It's about kind of unlocking the potential inside of your business. I never really made the decision to get into this business. My mother was a systems analyst and showed me how to navigate through DOS. I sort of just started tinkering with computers, spidering my way through the directory structure. It was fascinating the way it all worked, and it was just a lot of fun. I mean, the biggest reason why I think I ended up starting my own business is that I don't like authority. That would be my number one personality trait that got me to end up here. It's not like everything has to be done my way, but it's got to be done to a certain quality if I don't feel like the people above me are taking things seriously enough that need to be taken seriously, I can't kind of just sit quiet. So the misconception often is that kids in general these days, they come out of university, and, and same as I did actually, so it's not just today, but you think, well, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do a good job on my first project, and they're gonna go, man, you're awesome, and start just giving you money and, and titles. Every time I interview someone, I ask them, like, why are you applying for a job in computers? I always wanna know what is it that attracted you to this in the first place, because if it's not the right reasons, you're not gonna push yourself hard enough to get over the hump that we need to get over, right? My name's Jamie and I'm a product manager here at Pareto Business Group. I never thought I would end up in technology, but the fact that you can solve issues by automating things or leveraging different resources that you have fascinated me. My advice to anyone looking to get into the industry would be just tinker with things. It's one of those fields where you don't need to have a formal education. I mean, I have no formal tech background. As long as you're passionate and you're interested in it, you can teach yourself everything that you need to know to get the job done. Just get involved and find what you're interested in and then just really go after it. For young people who want to get into information technology, whether it be a technician on the hardware side or a software developer, I'd never recommend doing a ton of reading or research or, or anything that isn't hands-on. I do have a Bachelor of Computer Science, but I never went to class. You know, everything I've ever learned about technology is self-taught. PV3 is definitely the most interesting project because I've been part of it from the beginning. I got to see right from when it was just a concept and idea all the way through to end users using it now. And it's fascinating because when you talk to companies and customers, they have seven different pieces of software that they need to go into every single day to do their job. But with PBE3, we consolidate all that to one system and they can pull out whatever they need when they need it. You know, I, I like to say that I don't want anyone here to take themselves too seriously, but we have to take the work very seriously. The culture here is really fun. And I mean, we have the pinball machines set up. We all have Lego mugs. It's always fun and we're always goofing around, but it's kind of a work hard, play hard mentality. So people do buckle down and we achieve great things. The biggest thing that I see that's changed in my line of work, the idea that you can build something, set it aside for a decade and, and not keep it maintained I don't feel you can do that anymore. Nowadays, you have a lot of things, frameworks and toolkits that have been built by companies or the community. You know, every year there's a new phone. Every six months, every two weeks, there's a new browser version, right? It's a lot more effort to, to constantly be refreshing your application and keeping it up to date. If you don't have the desire to do it for yourself, then you won't make it very far. You'll get burned out. You have to enjoy the painful parts of the job. You have to be a sucker for pain. <laughs>